Well, we are all very glad that you made it back safely. Did you detect any other craft leaving the Star Cruiser? Uh, an escape pod? Another shuttle, maybe? Anything? I'm sorry, Ratchet. We heard the whole thing over the comm link. You had no choice. Captain Quark died a hero. And we would frolic in the fitness course under the wee hours of the morning. Captain Quark had so many, um, uh, wonderful qualities, I just don't know where to begin. Such as? Oh, uh, okay, uh, he was really tall, and, uh, and he had a unique fashion sense, and he had a really big chin with a, kind of a sort of a, well, you know, a butt shape. Uh, uh, well, you know, I, I think I've droned on long enough. <laughs> I just heard what happened. I wanted to offer my condolences to the team. Quark's loss is a true tragedy. The man was a hero, brave, honest, kind, and humble to the core. <laughs> what a load of bullshit. Captain Quark may be gone, but his indomitable spirit of heroism lives on in each of you. I know the Q-Force will make our fallen captain proud. Carry on, men. Th this came in the mail for Quark. <laughs> It's Chapter 4 of the Quark Vid comic series. He'd want you to have it. Thanks, Al. You know, this could give us a clue about what Nefarious is going to do next. Episode 4, Deja Q, all over again. After defeating Dr. Nefarious on planet Magmos, Quark returned to his condo in Metropolis for some well-earned R&R. Oh, Lance, it's time you knew the truth. The baby isn't yours. What? Who? Who is the father? Oh, your evil twin brother, Engelbert. <sighs> but Janice, I... I'm Engelbert! Ooh, must be that pizza I ordered. Guten Tag, Captain Flabby! Uh, Helga, what are you doing here? Getting you off your lazy butt! You have plumped up like a giant green breakfast! <laughs> it is time for the fitness course! Oh, oh, all right. Meanwhile, on a rooftop high above the bustling streets of Metropolis... The hour of my vengeance is at hand. Go now, my robotic servants. Tear this city apart. Bring me the head of Captain Quark!
chance over this. Sorry. What's that, Stumpy? This isn't over, Quark. I swear, I will return someday to destroy you and bring Metropolis to its knees! Uh-huh. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. And so Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. But... Uh, seems the script is missing a few pages. <coughs> <coughs> Thanks, Professor. I'll take it from here. And so ends the greatest tale of courage and heroism ever told. The true story of Captain Quark's triumph over the nefarious supervillain known as... Uh, well, Dr. Nefarious. Aren't you gonna unlock Quark's secret costumes? Here, I'll use the cheat codes. Let's see. Up, up, down, down, left, right, circle, square, square. <laughs> Even a tutu! Metropolis! That's where Nefarious is gonna strike first. Are you sure? It makes perfect sense. Nefarious tried to destroy Metropolis years ago, but Quark stopped him. Nefarious swore he'd come back and finish the job someday. Now that he has a secret weapon, he's ready to make his move. Set a course for Metropolis. Let's hope we're not too late. A new suit of armor is available at the Gadgetron Armor Vendor. Man, I need to drop a few pounds so I can squeeze into that new Aegis Mark V battle suit. That thing uses sub-quantum gravity singularities to produce a phase-shift inversion field. See for yourself at the armor vendor.